What's going on, you two? This is Necro Steve, and it's finally time for the next week of the Pokemon Premier League, where the Eterna City Enders go up against the Nidoking Park Rangers, hosted, of course, by Raikwin. Uh, if you didn't see the analysis, it's in the description as always. I ended up going with the standard law punny, just like I thought. I was very worried that Mammo Swine was scarfed for the entire time before I found that it wasn't scarfed, basically. Uh, I just went straight for the Mega Evolution because I knew I could get a free fake off. Not a freak off, a, fa a free fake out off, excuse me. Not speaking very lucidly, because I am tired, long work day. Um, find out, of course, that the Mandy Bus has Rocky Helmet. I, I kind of expected it to switch in, but I didn't want to go straight for um, the high jump kick just in case he was scarfed. I, I wanted to go ahead and get some free damage. Uh, here I was thinking that he would go ahead and go for Toxic, and so I went into Floor just because I knew I could just aromatherapy and get rid of the Toxic. Uh, toxic is going to be a problem because I didn't get the opportunity that I really wanted to get rid of aromather uh, to aromatherapy to get rid of the toxic. And here I expected him to switch not into a Zelf who whom we see is actually assault vested. Um, a Zelf definitely would not be able to take a hit from Floor just even uninvested that well. So it definitely has some sort of bulk there. This is basically his dedicated Floor to switch in. Um, I wasn't expecting him to go for a U-turn there. I definitely was expecting him to hit me. Uh, Zelf can get um, Iron Tail, so I was expecting him to use Iron Tail and not U-turn. U-turn does a lot of damage on Reuniclus, a lot more than I really wanted to see it do. But because this is my Trick Room Reuniclus, I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. I'm taking a lot more damage from these attacks than I really, really want to. And based on him switching out here, I definitely thought that he was Scarf because otherwise he could have just gone for Ice Shard, right? That's what I was thinking. Um, even if he had a Focus Ash, he had no reason to not just stay in and go for the Ice Shard. Uh, I was about to click Shadow Ball, he switches back to a Zelf, but at the same token, it was it was kind of a, well, if he leaves it in here, I get to take out the Mammoth Swine. Um, and I just barely miss out on the KO on a Zelf. But now it's at a nice critical level of HP, and since it is most likely carrying Assault Vest, it is missing... Um, the, the ability to have leftovers and all that good stuff. Uh, here I just make a terrible misplay. I did EV ri Ryzen to take it, um, a Never Melt Ice Earthquake. I wasn't, he actually is holding Muscle Band, so the crit might not have mattered. I had about a 10% chance to survive there, but the crit definitely sealed it. There was no way I was living. But since I thought he was Scarfed, I went into Kabutops thinking that he would be faster than me because I'm adamant Scarfed. If he was Scarfed, he would probably be running um, the. Uh, choice scarf for the jolly nature but he's not scarfed at all he has a muscle band and so that was just stupid basically uh, I lost Kabutops for no reason and I kind of lost Runiclus for no reason and we've just lost so much priority um, as far as momentum and and even morale for my team members here now once again Florgis is I have no reason to not uh, to not put on as much offensive pressure as I can he doesn't really have anything that wants to switch into Moonblast um, and Floor just can also easily hit the uh, Azelf from this point of HP. I did figure that since Azelf had Assault Vest, it most likely wouldn't be invested in its speed. So I am able to go out into Garchomp. I actually didn't bring a Dragon move on Garchomp this week. This is a really weird... I say this week. This is the first time I've used Garchomp, so awesomely. Uh, I brought an Adamant Garchomp with enough speed to outspeed uh, a Rotom form with max speed, but still Adamant so that I can invest in my HP some. Now the HP and defense investment allows me to comfortably live an Ice Shard with the Yachi Berry, and I have a chance to live something like um, Icicle Crash, depending on his investment, like if he were a weird naive set. If he's max attack though, I can't live that even with the Icicle Crash, so. I unfortunately don't have anything that I want to bring into a Rotom, especially for a Leaf Storm, so I forced to basically let Garchomp go down right there. But hey, his first battle for the team and he gets a KO. Um, expecting Mandy Buzz to come back in and I kind of guessed that since Mamoswine was not Scarfed, Rotom was probably Scarfed. I figured I could take out Mandy Buzz with a plus one um, high jump kick, and I definitely could. I actually got the lowest of low damage rolls. That means we're going to trade Pokemon here, and that also means that I lose Lopunny for the rest of the battle. Um, I had a really good chance to KO Manny Buzz from that range of HP. At minimum, 
I think I did uh, in the damage calc. I think the minimum was around 65%. So anything more than that would have been plenty. Uh, I kind of went into forges here just going, okay, whatever he does, he's probably just going to go for the gunk shot and I'm just going to click moon blast. He misses the gunk shot. So a little bit of hacks in our favor there after the minimum damage roll on the crit on Kaboot tops. Uh, the gunk shot miss, I don't know if that mattered too much in the end. Um, it definitely would have KO'd Florges, so it didn't matter in that respect. Also may have hurt his morale if he, uh, he actually told me on Skype that he was pretty salty about that miss. But with that gunk shot miss, um, we now have a situation where Florges has to take on both of the Pokemon that he has remaining, which is Hydreigon and Rotom Moform. Now we see the damage that Thunderbolt does and I can definitely take those hits. We're going to switch out expecting another Thunderbolt and go into Tyranitar, which is a choice banded Tyranitar. I brought this specifically because it could basically two hit KO his entire team. Um, I could hey, I could easily KO the Hydreigon switching in and I could KO Rotom from this range of HP where Rotom is forced to go for Thunderbolt. And if need be, if Tyranitar comes down to fainting, Forges has enough HP to take on Rotom. Unfortunately, as I predicted to switch out there and I went for Stone Edge, Bandit, it would have easily KO'd the Mixi Dragon. That's not invested in any HP or defense or anything. It would have easily KO'd and I miss and I have to take the superpower. And then now I have to switch Forges in and Forges is going to have to take a little bit of Sandstorm damage, Toxic damage, Pointed Stones, and that's gonna be it, unfortunately. So that, that, Last Stone Edge miss there really sealed the loss for me. I, I guess it's a little bit of a toss up because he did miss his gunk shot. Granted, if he had missed the gunk shot um, at that point and taken out Florges, then that definitely would have been a good game because Tyranitar wouldn't be able to do anything against Infernape. But there's a lot to be said for Kabutops getting knocked out by a crit and me getting a very low damage roll against Mandibuzz. So it all balances out in the end, I suppose. But I was pretty dissatisfied with that battle. Uh, I could have played with Reuniclus a lot better. I really thought I would have been able to take out the Azelf and still have a few turns left to sweep. And also I threw away Kabutops. There was no reason for me to play him the way that I did. I definitely should have at least just gone for Aqua Jet if I was going to make that play. But anyways though, that is what it is. And we will be moving forward now looking for our next matchup against the Celta Dino. That's going to be an interesting match because I believe that that team has only lost two battles this whole time. So we have our work cut out for us and I hope you guys enjoy watching these battles. I'll talk to you next time and hope you have a great week. Bye bye guys.